Alright guys, welcome back to our 34th video on PHP and MySQL. And in the last video, we connected to PHP MyAdmin, so this is what we're looking at. And just kind of look around, just see what we're looking at to get familiar with our interface, because this is really the homepage to PHP MyAdmin, I think. Here's our homepage right here. Yeah, it's the same page. So over here, these are just the stock, or the, uh, the default databases that were uh, added to our MySQL when we downloaded XAMPP. So what do we got over here? Okay, here's our MySQL and our version. We're on localhost, version 5.1.44, user root at localhost. So we did not set a password, and let's go and look at our web server. We're on Apache 2.214, which is Unix, uh, SSL security, PHP version 5.3, MySQL client version 5.1.4 and we got our interface over here if you guys want to change the theme or the background color or the font size you can do it here but um, I'm okay with the defaults and up here we got our databases so this information right here is just the same information over here SQL this acts as our terminal so if we want to go ahead and instead of like clicking on something or using PHP my admin we can go ahead and the same way we were accessing terminal we could run our queries through here but again this takes a lot longer to do and I'd rather just click around to add and to delete and to append the database uh, information that I want to do status over here okay all this all the uh, defaults look good this is our query we haven't ran any yet and a query is just a question anytime you ever see the word query right here just know that it's asking our server or our database a question well, we haven't ran anything yet, so everything here should be zero all the way down. So variables, don't worry about that. Char sets, we're already on UT. What are we on? UCS, general CI, Unicode, case sensitive. It's pretty much just English. Engines, don't worry about any of this stuff. Privileges, if you want to create another user, give them a password, go ahead and do so down here processes again don't worry about this for the time being okay so let's go ahead and create a database and we can either create a database database right here we can just click home and do it from our home page and I'm gonna create a database called uh, should we keep it formal or informal I'll keep it informal let's, let's make a I'll look around my room let's have a little fun with this and I see a can of soda. So I'm going to type in soda. Soda is our new database. And make sure this is set to collation or collation. And this is set to UF8 underscore general underscore CI. Let's go ahead and create this. And there it is. So our database is over here. We just created a new database called soda. And say we want to delete this database. So we spelled it wrong. We just wanted to quickly create a new database. Well, we go over here to drop. And it's going to ask us if we want to drop the database of soda. And we'll say yes to get rid of that database. So now soda is gone and we're back to our homepage. So we just created a database and we looked over the homepage in our, in our user interface for our PHP My Admin, And then we deleted our table. So in the next video, we'll go ahead and create a database with a couple of tables.